So I want to read this statement from Electron. So it says, hi there, thought we'd chime in. It's great to see the speculation and the threads, even if things occasionally drift a little off piced. Don't know what off piced means, but cool. At any given time, there are a number of prototypes in various stages of development. It would be strange if we didn't have any since creating music machines is what we love doing. Some eventually see the light of day and others stay in the proto stage. All right, so they, they responded to the leak. Uh, let's get a little screen share action going. This is the Tonverk, which may or may not see the light of day. Probably will, I'm not here to speculate. Uh, I actually really want to just kind of talk about this uh, for a little bit. So I've never owned any Electron or even touched or even seen one in person, any Electron device. I've heard about them, of course. Um, I know a little bit about them. I know that some of the DNA, uh, I believe in the company, as well as the DNA and like the, the music making aspect on some of the pieces of equipment, especially the sequence based ones are um, related a lot, I think, to the OPZ. Uh, if you've been following this channel, you know that I am a massive fan of the Teenage Engineering OPZ. I use it all the time. And I think that when it comes to standalone hardware that excites me as a musician, as a music producer, it's not everything. It's it's specific things, right? Um, because we don't have time. I don't have time to like to like use and try out every single piece of equipment. I'm, I'm like very tactful and very nuanced with, with regards to what I kind of bring in and what I, you know, allow to to take up my valuable time. Um, so anything that is standalone, which I, I'm not even 100% sure if this is battery operated and powered, but ideally something that can be used either way, you know, maybe all electron devices or most of them you have to power up. Again, not, not entirely sure about that, but something that I can just have on the, de on the desk in any case, um, something that is like sequence based, but also melodic based. The OPZ is that. OPZ, you sequence stuff and it has a keyboard on it. Um, a lot of, if I'm not mistaken, the other uh, devices from um, Electron are not both of those things, right? And I, again, I'm not going to look at like all the Digitact and all those other ones because I don't have any real information about them without, you know, having used them. But what I will say is like looking at this, you see that there's like step sequencers on the bottom. There's like steps right here, which is so cool. And then you have this like this, this is a melodic key sort of situation here. Uh, so I feel as though this is something that definitely excites me. This is something that I'll definitely get my hands on um, if slash when it does inevitably come out. And I'm definitely curious about, you know, you guys' input, specifically people who've used the OPZ and who really appreciate it and enjoy it, and those of you who've used any of the Electron products in the past. Do you think that I will, like, love something like this? Because I, I think I will. I think as long as I like, spend some time using it, uh, which I most certainly would, um, and, like, learning it, I should say, I think I would really be, like, I think I would have a lot of fun with something like this. You know, being able to create on it and then like kind of use what I imagine some type of step or not step, but what do you call those? Like those those effects, um, the trig effects on the OPZ and stuff. So, yeah, just curious to know what you guys think. Like, what, what are your thoughts on this? Do you guys think it's definitely real? Do you think it more than likely is? And are you, you know, are you personally, are you interested in it? Um, you know, with my unique situation... I have access to so many different pieces of hardware now, which is so cool through my partnership with Zounds. But even with that, I'm still mindful about the time, right? The fact that I can get anything in and there's like different categories. There's ones of like, okay, you get this piece of equipment and it takes like a while to learn how to use versus you get this piece of equipment in and you can just plug it in and just start messing around with it. So like for me, in my mind, something like maybe the Yamaha Seek Track is something that I can get in and I would take I imagine, you know, a learning curve. You have to understand the workflow and all that kind of stuff versus something like maybe the new, let me look it up real quick. Um, I forget the name of the new Moog, but the new Moog, is it called a Muse? Yeah, something like this I've had my eyes on. Um, and this is something that, you know, you get in and you don't really have to learn how to use it. You just get in and just start playing the keys and turning knobs and there's things to learn, of course, what do all these buttons do and everything like that. But ultimately, like with regards to how 
how quick and how immediate you can kind of just get start, started having fun with it. This is something in that category. So yeah, just being super mindful, you know, with one compared to the other, but that's why I wanted to leave this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely get yourself subscribed to the channel because I'll be doing a lot more of these types of videos. The last one, these types, meaning me talking to you guys in 4K with hopefully better audio quality than last time. Um, remember we talked about it on my last video that I had this plugged in, I was charging and had that little buzzing, you know, sort of sound, which we don't have anymore, which is pretty cool. Or at least I don't think we do because um, I don't have it plugged in, but we'll see in post when I'm editing. But yeah, I want to do a lot more of these. These are kind of fun videos to do. I definitely enjoy them. And uh, yeah, I was excited to talk about it. So. Let me know um, if you have any questions uh, or comments. Definitely get yourself subscribed to be notified the next time I release a video like this so that you're like one of the first to watch it. And just drop me a comment below. Let me know how you're doing today. I'm curious. I'm, I'm as you can hear with my voice a little bit, you know, I had a wedding weekend. Uh, I didn't get married. One of my closest friends got married uh, this weekend. So my voice is finally coming back a little bit. And um, I still wanted to get this out and uh, chat with you guys. So thank you for watching. Have a great one. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.